Hello, in this Bootstrap 4 video, we're going to show you card columns. Card columns allow you to organize your cards in a masonry style format. And basically what that allows you to do is put the cards exactly on top of each other. And what I mean by that is, imagine if you have 12 columns, I mean 12 cards, sorry, and on each row you have 3 cards. So that would be a total of 4 rows and 3 cards per row. But each card has a varying height so you got different content in there some cards might not have images might have larger images might have more text no buttons more buttons etc that sort of stuff and as a result the overall card or each card is slightly different in height usually if you had multiple cards what would happen is that particular row that the card is on it, that row would be as tall as the tallest card and as a result you get white space and that doesn't look very professional. Using card columns, you can simulate masonry style organization, essentially what Pinterest does. Because as you can see, you can see that all of these different cards essentially are different height. Because this one, which is showing 20 years of PlayStation, is massive compared to this one. But they're all essentially on top of each other. They don't have a big gap with each row that's essentially what we're implementing to do it luckily in bootstrap 4 it's really easy in bootstrap 3 this wasn't available and we have a website it's called ventit.co and that's just a anonymous social networking website that we made and we have a masonry style effect in there we use bootstrap 3 and we had to use a separate javascript library unfortunately for that so it's just a bit more work but with bootstrap 4 it's all built in so without further ado all you need to do is create a container which is a div make sure he has a class of card dash columns and inside here, oh, columns, you need to spell it correctly. Inside here, you simply put all the cards that you want. So to keep it simple, I'm going to put a bunch of these cards in here. Let's just get all that sorted. So if I were to just copy and paste these quite a lot of time. So if I go back refresh, you might be thinking, yeah, doesn't really look any different. That's simply because all the cards are of the same height. But what I'm going to do is just in random cards, remove certain elements so they have varying heights. Okay, for this one I'll remove that and that. For this one I'll remove the image and the button. Remove that and this one. And actually, for the first one, I'm going to have no image. I'm just going to have a lot of text. So I'm going to copy and paste that a bunch of times. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So if I save that, go back to my brother, refresh. As you can see, they are now on top of each other. So even though this is really, really tall, we essentially have almost three cards in the same space in the column that is next to it. If you just heard a noise there, I accidentally hit my pop filter by the mic. If you didn't, then nothing went bad at all. So it's that simple to use a masonry style effect. Obviously, we've just got a lone image here. It's got a title and a button, There's some text, title and a button. This is obviously just the regular card that we had before. So that's how you use masonry style organization in bootstrap 4 it's using card columns if you have any questions feel free to post them on our education platform sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash question.php there'll be a link in the description to that there'll be another link in the description to the source code from this video and the source code from every other video in this series please rate comment and subscribe as it does really help us grow and provide more content to you for free and as usual Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.